six years mm. of studying music mm. and being so like in it, like nonstop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That you know, you 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 develop to this point where you go, I know how to like make music and I know how to criticize music. I know it sounds good. I know yeah. it sounds bad. Mm-hmm. But then you start to go, everything I'm writing is bad. And you criticize everything mm, at yeah, every moment because you're yeah. like, well, I know what's good, you know, because I'm yeah. like, I'm a musician. I know, like, I know this is good. I know this is bad. But getting to a point with the writing of songs where it's like shedding all of that and just going, mm. right, okay, so I just want to write something that I feel is truly honest to what to what I want to say. Mm doesn't matter if it's good or if it's bad that that opinion of it all doesn't matter anymore it's like writing a song mm-hmm. that feels honest so hearing you say that i really appreciate yeah. that because it's like it's been a long time of like writing these songs and going oh, no no yeah. it's not working yeah, or yeah. like oh this is this is awful and mm. then or going oh i like this and then going oh no and then trying to go actually it's not about that it's about just writing something that's like kind of honest mm-hmm. um and then if people like it, people like it. Exactly. I, I, exactly. I definitely think people will, man. Honestly. I appreciate it. And, and like what you're saying there about it being, feeling genuine and stuff, that was like the the first, you know, impression that I got was like it was completely, you tell you could mm-hmm. sort of, you're talking from your sweet soul, man. And I felt that and yeah. it, was, it was beautiful. It was it's an interesting process, you know, because I've, I've done music for so long, playing for other people. Yeah playing their music and like getting into someone else's headspace to sort of express what they're trying to say yeah and support them whereas now it's just like trying to figure out something to say for myself which is a whole different ball game Mm. Um, like especially playing like guitar and singing at the same time it's so hard like Mm. (laughs) (laughs) it's it's a challenge in itself but then playing those songs and like trying to think of how I want this to arch and how I want this to sound and if it's going to say the thing I want it to say mm. is so much fun. Mm. It's like so nice. So you started doing it in in the pandemic. With Dad, you had like hints in the back of your mind before that, like I like you felt like like an urge to write, and you maybe just didn't like act on it at the time or. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I like I. So it's it's uh it's it's kind of funny. Like I have played the guitar as long as I've played the drums. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but never put the same amount of energy or efforts into it. Um, but every time I picked up a guitar, for the longest time, I just didn't know how to uh, play anything. So I just make things up and I just write songs because mm-hmm. then I felt like I was achieving something. <laughs> so, I made so like, something. Yeah, so just like, <laughs> the way I learned the guitar was just by like writing songs. Mm-hmm. Like um I used to have this like nylon guitar that we got off like a, one of my cousins and it had one of them <laughs> them tuning pipes. Have you seen them? Oh, oh that's cool. like the that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. I it, remember them. It tasted it, like tasted like beans. So every time Oh <laughs> no. no. What great. kind of beans? Like not, Heinz. yeah, not yeah. good beans. <laughs> but like you you like tune tune the guitar, I'd play some songs, like I'd write some things and I've always written. And I've written songs that like I've played in other bands. So like I was in a band called No Talk mm-hmm. and I wrote a song for for that band. Um, and I've written songs and I've given them out to various people over the years. Um, but during the pandemic, I sort of had a bit of a um, bit of a turbulent time, yeah. and I sort of like started to come out of that. Um, and I was like, I've got. I ended up in a situation where I didn't have any musical projects anymore that I was heavily involved in. Mm-hmm. It's the first time I'd not been in a musical project for like eight nine years yeah. so it's like i have all these energies invested in me and like i've been working a lot on myself as a person mm-hmm. so why not like just do some music for myself and like combine those two energies but yeah so, nice man. i like it yeah <laughs> it, 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 yeah it's um, i'm very excited for you all to to hear it later on because it's it's it, it'll be a debut performance is, is that yeah, right yeah, yeah first time I mean, like, probably the first time a lot of people have heard me sing. Right, yeah. Mm. Like, 
even close friends, family, like, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty daunting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get rinsed by someone anyway, you know, yeah. that's always the case. There's always assholes out there. <laughs> There's assholes everywhere in the sweet world. Um, okay, for people that obviously no one's heard your music, so what would you say, what artists would you say sort of that you've drawn influence from for this stuff um i've been well i've been listening to loads of uh singer songwriters right um like i've been really getting in that headspace uh just simplifying music back down to just guitar and vocals mm -hmm. or piano and vocals and like li trying to find great songwriting and great songs so like there's a guy called Rodrigo Amarante who okay. have you seen Narcos or Narcos? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know the theme tune? Yeah. yeah. He's he that's right. him. Okay. So oh, like, that okay. was the, the thing he did. Yeah. But he is like a don. Like <laughs> he is he is like such a cool guy. Like uh I I'd pretty much idolise him. Like he's okay. this mid forties something, like guy just sits with a guitar, plays the song just like doesn't really care how well the performance sounds but the songs are so great mm -hmm. it just comes across great right. he's got an album called Calvolo which is like the perfect album in my opinion it's like it's it's like amazing um, mm. but he's really great uh, Adrian Lenka yeah big fan of mm -hmm. uh, I think everyone that's come on to the <laughs> podcast yeah. has said either yeah yeah she's, stuff, she, she's like I think she's She's an icon of um, this era yeah. of music. Like, especially if, you know, you've got to, like, windle it down scene, you know. Um, but it's some of her songwriting and her music and the way she, like, writes is just so engaging to your ear. You just want to mm -hmm. listen to it more and more. Mm -hmm. um, so she's she's amazing. Yeah. So I saw her at Yes!, when, okay. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when, when gigs were a thing, uh, mm. and it was amazing. She just like was on stage with a guitar and just played. I think th in the pink room, the two mm. best gigs I've been to have been Adrian Lenka and Tamino. Tamino, have heard, Tamino, have you heard of Tamino? No. If like. He looks like he's been chiselled by the gods. No like, way. Like, Devilishly it, handsome. Yeah, yeah. Like, Ooh. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> be beautiful man <laughs> with, with a beautiful voice. Like, right. He's... Um, is, is it like, I, I can't, I'm not sure quite what is, where he's from, but he has this sort of like... Uh, what's, the, what's the best way to say it? Like... Um, Middle Eastern elements to his music. Okay. So it's like Jeff Buckley, but with a lot of Middle Eastern elements to mm. so like the vocal yeah. melodies and stuff. Yeah. And he's like <clears throat> six foot tall, plays the guitar. Like, he's, uh, like I saw him at Green Man first mm. with a few friends. And it was like pouring rain and then this beautiful man appeared <laughs> just, <laughs> as if he hovered across yeah. the stage <laughs> and then just started serenading everyone there wow. and then like at yes it was like incredible his voice is amazing mm -hmm. so he's yeah, like he's someone I listen to quite a lot okay uh, there's a guy called Angelo Di Augustine as well there's like an endless list I could go on for well this is yeah. good man yeah, keep it I, I say this every time like it, every time we have a guest on it's like it's just like learning it's like a new encyclopedia of just stuff to listen to yeah. so just keep fucking <laughs> listening man I'm, I'm all ears like, like Ash pointed out it's so much nicer getting into an artist when you've had a particular recommendation you've had someone like it was this tune and this is why it moved me this is what the song's about yeah. and it's someone you trust and everything like that it's so much nicer like obviously even like being on Spotify or whatever you get like recommended things and that can spiral as we all know it's a dangerous rapidly. game though with yeah. Spotify because you go on a, you, like say if I said oh go check out Rodrigo Amarante yeah. you'd go on Spotify and you click on the first track which is inevitably going to be the song that is most popular yeah. mm. so like you know the Narcos or you'd like say Bon Iver, for example you go on the Spotify yeah. and you listen to For Emma yeah. or Skinny Love yeah. 
probably Skinny Love is yeah. the top track. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. Right, yeah. And like, if you heard that at first, you know, without yeah, context, I'd be like, no, I'm not knocking that song, yeah. but you know, it's, yeah, not it's not the same. You're not getting the full picture. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. so there's some songs on there that have like really emotionally, yeah, like touch me at, yeah, uh, yeah. at points in my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but if like if I was just finding that person for the first time and just listen to the top song, mm. a, yeah. a lot of the time for these artists, it's like their pop tune it, or like especially it, in that world of of that we're talk that I'm talking yeah. about. Mm. Those tunes are often like the label said that you have to write a pop song mm -hmm. in order to increase yeah. the number sales and to get more money in. So that's so what music's all about. It's about making yeah, it's money. About, it's about money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast to catch up on new episodes every week. Also, check us out on our Facebook and Instagram at Rec Rooms, where you can find out about our other exciting music series. We also have this and all our other episodes of the podcast up on our Rec Rooms YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. See you next time.